All right, looking at number six on unit four, worksheet two. And they've kind of jumbled it up for us, so let's move things around. Um, 9x squared. If I move the 3x over, it just goes away. So I guess I guess that's nice. That means I won't have to complete the square on the x stuff. Minus 36y squared equals, I'm going to move the 10 to the other side, 144. So that's, a, that's, I guess, nice because there's no completing the square to do. I don't have to have it square it, add it on anybody. Divide by 144. Let's see, 9 over 144. Um, I know what 36 over 144 is. That's 4. 144 divided by 9. I think this is why you'll have a calculator on the next test. Just It'll help you with little stuff like this. 16. Oh, that works out well. So I guess in some ways this is easier, but in some ways it's, it's, it's new, it's different. We haven't seen with just an X and just a Y. So what's the center of this thing? Right in the middle at the origin, 0, 0. It's like there's x minus 0 and y minus 0 there. So 0, 0 for the center. I'll go left and right 4. Again, I'm not really worried about a and b. If it's under x, go that many in x. If it's left and right 4. If it's under y, go that many in y. So up and down 2. Um, Careful, it may be tempting to sketch in an ellipse, but this isn't an ellipse. This is a hyperbola. It's the left and right hyperbola. So that means I need to draw the box and do the asymptotes. There's the box. Asymptotes with the straight edge, like your ID or ruler or whatever. Nice crisp graphs. There's my asymptotes. Uh, and now I'm ready to sketch in the, the hyperbola. Because I've got a vertex and I've got the asymptotes. Double checking. X came first, so that means it's left and right. picture. Uh, it says find all characteristics. I think because it doesn't specify what they are because some of these graphs are circles and some are ellipses and some are hyperbolas. So uh, the vertices would be at 4, 0 and negative 4, 0. You could list the other two if you want to. Um, there's a fancy name for them. I forget what it's called. It's like fake vertices basically because they're they help but they're not part of the graph so they're not really vertices um, to find the focus I need to figure out what C is a squared plus B squared right because if the original sign is minus then the focus is plus so C squared equals 20 so the square root of 20 and then that's how far from the center, not from the vertex, but from the center I'll go. Uh, 20 would be 4 and a half ish Am I going left and right with that or up and down with that for this problem? Show me with your hand. There you go. <laughs> left and right because the X came first. so it's And it has to wrap around the focus. So it's got to land somewhere around there. So four and a half or so would be there and there. And so we take the center and our 
x coordinate we'll add and subtract square root of 20 find our foci you don't really need the, the zero there but that's just sort of emphasize we started at zero the x coordinate is zero and we went left and right square root of 20 and the eccentricity is c over a so square root of 20 over here's the only time where a matters but a is always first a is the main one so a would be 4 so root 20 over 4 yes the square root would simplify yes it would reduce but we don't have to do that um, because we got we got other things to worry about we say we know how to do that if we needed to we could but we're worried about the hyperbola situation, not the reducing square root situation. Thank you. I was just trying to think if there was something else I, I needed here. I do need the asymptotes. Um, well, this one's not bad. Uh, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. But they always match... You can always get them from the equation, not necessarily from the picture. So y minus 0, if you want to put it, x minus 0. And the slope is y over x. So I can do 2 over 4 from the equation. Or I can look at the picture and see that it's up 2 over 4. But either way, plus or minus 1 half for the slope. Don't forget the plus or minus because that's what gives you both asymptotes. And you can leave it like that. That's fine. If you feel like <clears throat> it makes more sense to simplify it to that, that's okay too. Either one. Usually it's going to look like that. This one just simplified because our center was at the origin. <clears throat> 